the attack, we got the, the strike through freaking tricorn. Follow kill is a thing here. And this, this is the Got him! Alright, great place to get in there. Are you guys ready? I am so pumped for this deck. Here we go, it is time to start. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. I am super, super excited to bring back this deck, the Ramp Molecule, but it is new and improved uh, this is going to be ridiculous the combo so this first and foremost is a ramp deck you're trying to gain extra sun every turn now the way usually the extra sun benefits you is that you kind of like have a stopover stage where you control them and then you hit them in the super late game the late game happens immediately in this deck uh solar winds uh, we have this to give you extra ones, and there's a little guy that pops out of this Sunflower Seed. Uh, because the main card, I would say, is on turn 4 to Pine Clone, or on turn 5 um, to, to Pine Clone with, with another little card. So, I mean, theoretically, if you would just play, I, I don't know, let's say just Twin Sunflower on turn 2 and it survives. Turn 3, y'all, 5 Sun. You'll be able to Shroom for 2, Pine Clone, which is on turn 3, you'll be able to have... Four three threes on the field, which is ridiculous. Uh, not counting the fact that you can then stick a mall kill on all those three threes and turn them into five fives the next turn. Uh, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, there's so many combos. There's so many ways I can see uh, this deck playing out. It's going to be really easy to get a good starting hand. For example, on turn one, you can primal sunflower. Okay, so then you make uh, extra. So then the next turn, if you have, happen to have a Velocir Radish Hunter in your hand. Uh, so you can play this on turn two, which is amazing, and then on turn three, as long as this survives, on turn three, you can then Molokail, which the Molokail will now turn these three threes into four drops. So on turn three, you'll have a couple of four, four random four cost cards. Just amazing. One thing I would like to do is, um, I find with Solar Flare, particularly since uh, she doesn't really have any... Um, like amphibious lane plays or anything like that. A lot of times your whole uh, board becomes full of molecules and you do not have uh, any plays and that is the reason why we are running Sunstrike. Uh, this will actually make all your molecules strike through which could just absolutely ruin people. This also works quite well with the Velociradish. Not only will it make these Velociradish high attack if they grow uh, to be strike through, it also actually makes them grow because this does make you conjure a random trick. Uh, the, the cop cannon is uh, the removal, removal for the water lane, and also if your board gets full of like all these team up sunflowers, this is really good, uh, really good to do. I mean, the, the, the solar winds is like a factory for pine clones or for molecule targets because it just gives you all these pumps out of these little guys. And of course, Briar Rose is just kind of gonna, gonna be like the sort of the heart of this deck. Um, that this will, it just gives you a whole nother play on turn three, like if you're ramping up, you stick a, this will control, control, let's say for an extra turn, so then you the next turn, let's say turn four, and then turn five, you'll be able to shroom for two Pine Clone. I, I think this deck is going to have ridiculous amounts of possibilities. It's going to be really fun because we're going to be turning, you know, Pine Clones into random stuff with, with Molecule. Here it is. Uh, no, no need to keep talking about it, Fry. Get into the game. Come on, Fry. This is so crazy. I don't think Extinction Events is very is necessarily good. I mean, it'll it'll counter the the initial Pine Clones, but if you have a Molecule in your hand, you have a few Pine Clones on the field, they Extinction Event them. You can just rectify that very easily with a Molecule. A Molecule will still turn those into five fives, and I don't know. I think we can we can sort of play around with it. I don't think Extinction Events that that bad big of a deal. Knockout also it removes maximum two Pine Clones for three. It's not. <laughs> Doesn't do enough. All right, the sun strike doesn't seem useful yet. Uh, we're looking for a one. How does this go? We could go two, and then do this on turn three. It'd be better to get pine clones though. Is Molecule weak here? New plant. Uh, I would love that Molecule back. Okay. <laughs> and whew, all right. So it's gonna be Velociraptor radishes into the um <clears throat> into this. I, I was hoping our opponent wouldn't start off fast, but it looks like it is. I'm gonna do this as a defensive play, just so we don't our opponent doesn't draw too many cards on turn three with the imp commander and stuff like that. Uh, I, I, this is okay to take off the field. We'll, we'll, we're getting that. We're gonna get this strong tempo on turn four. 
I, I am predicting 10 and 0 with this deck. I think this is uh, gonna be a great candidate. Interesting how Aggro Solar Flare I call the best deck in the game, but this is gonna be a great candidate. You know, I really should have kept more early game. I was super, super greedy on the, on that mulligan. I should have kept the Shroom for two. Eh, anyway. It's just an Infinity Club. That's fine. If that's this whole play right now, that's good shit. So we'll either have the, uh, we'll have a few options. I mean, we could try to control something with this. It depends what we draw. Um, it's probably going to be Velociradish. Now on turn four, we'll either get greedy and try to play a second Velociradish and small kill on five, or just or just do this immediately. Briar Rose is always an option too. That's all right. Very slow play. Um, this is good on heights, I believe. Oh yeah, go get him, Velociradish. Go get him. You know, our blocks will always do two damage. We'll be able to take out these little guys and stuff. If he has a smoke bomb, it would be very good here. It'd be amazing here. Smoke bomb that that strike through him all the way to lane one. I I got really greedy on the mulligans. Ignore how I mulligan this, because that is now how you do it. Get a solid mulligan. I I could have freaking uh there's so many things I could have done. I, I got rid of my ramp. I was just looking for a one a one cost card. I was looking for primal sunflower. It's not worth it. I should have you definitely need to keep a couple early game cards. We just got off really, really slow. This is sort of a tempo. This is a ramp deck because you're ramping up. It's sort of a tempo deck because you get into your your big your tempo very, very quickly. Um, is cheese cutter good fry? Uh it's it's a decent card. Doctor Who cares? This is a pretty good... There's a bunch of plays here, actually. I could put two more of these. I could go with the Deadly. I have a feeling he's gonna have maybe a Deadly card with this. He didn't threaten these at all. So what are the plays? Either Briar Rose takes out Doctor Who. Which usually will get deadly. I could just go for this and just start pummeling him, even though I think I'm gonna go with. Okay, so let let's say we were Velociradish right now. We don't have one plus Molecule next turn. If we were to play this one, we'd have six next turn. You know what? If he has to deadly down a Molecule, I think so be it. Here's a couple of fours. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> That's nice. I got a Witch Hazel. Ah, those are such bad fours. Witch Hazel, if he can take it out, if he does, if he's not able to take it out, the Witch Hazel's very good. Because it'll start making shrooms on our side, just start removing his guys and stuff. It also is a flower, so it does work well with Briar Rose. Uh, acid rain. I just kind of smoke bomb this one. Oh, he had a smoke bomb. Okay. Alright, so that happens. Uh, this is fine, I think. Should I do this later? This makes the Molecule survive. Eh. This will make Molecule take care of Dr. I think it's fine. Alright, now what? Oh, there's Shim for two. This game's a little sloppy for a game one. We're still in great shape. Little sloppy though. We we didn't get very good drops on the uh, on the molecule. I think random fives are better than random fours. There's a whole bunch of garbage random fours like we saw there. It's turning pine clones in. I, I feel like they're almost all good except for like pot of powerhouse, which isn't horrible. Yeah, it's pretty bad actually. What's going on, Andrew? The thing is, how much do you really need to capitalize on molecules or pine clones? Yes. Now what? <laughs> What's he gonna do? Locust Sword? Passes turn five. Probably gonna do something to this. Did our opponent play a, a power yet? Um, acid Rain, Galvanize, Blow, and Super. I don't think he played Acid Rain, did he? Is this Acid Rain? Oh, I guess it is. So he played his power ready, he'll get a different one. I think let's just make this into a play. I, I don't I think I'm gonna save this. I think I'm gonna save this. 
budget deck with potted powerhouse good? Could be. You just need a, a one of the heroes with time to shine. So that'll be either Grass Knuckles or uh, or uh, Captain Combustible. Because potted powerhouse is pretty. It's too expensive if you don't have time to shine. He used acid. Is Fume Shun a bad card? It's not that bad. I don't use it very much. It's a little expensive for uh, like a field clear card. It is decent though. What deck should you start making Gwen besides Dwarves? Hensel to Machine decks. Um, there's a, a budget version. I should put out some videos explaining the budget version and the expensive version of that deck. Um, he totally passed turn five. What does he have in his hand? So it's either freeze, galvanize, blow. I'd rather him get blow. I don't mind him. Well, and he doesn't play it. Uh, this guy's not respecting the tempo. Okay. He to kill this thing. Our next two powers are two damage and weed wax. So. Hmm. This, this hand is not shaping up to very much. We're missing our power. We need pine clones. We need another molecule. Would be nice. How to powerhouse sunstrike? I, I don't know. Again, that's a very expensive. That's a nine cost combo. Usually, you want you want things that will kill your opponent for. And if you play Pot of Powers and then Sunstrike the next turn, you're giving your opponent a whole bunch of chances to remove your, your Pot of Powerhouse. So that's probably why that's a little too slow. You usually want turn, so with 6 Sun, the Pot of Powerhouse time to shine. That'll make that big Pot of Powerhouse at least get that initial bonus tag. Plus give your opponent something after to move off the field. Yes, I prefer to get blow, blow, blowed there. Blown? I prefer to get blown. Okay, that was awkward. He just had nothing to play. He was distracted. Okay, we want to know. The future games will be a lot better. Okay, don't worry. Nothing exciting there. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be so greedy in my mulligans anyway. I'm gonna take a solid early game. We should. There's no reason not to have a great hand, starting hand, you know. Brain fart dies. Yeah, that was. That's strange. Awkward. I think is the word. Hmm. Golden shake is my city. Fry, that meme is like three months old. Way more. Ah, uh, don't need two pine clones. Ah. Uh, <laughs> question is, do I did get rid of Briar Rose in favor of another ramp card? It is decent against the smash. I might want a Briar Rose on four, pine clone shroom for two on five, because this thing's not necessarily going to survive. I think I'm going to keep this. Okay, early game, we got the late game. <laughs> Eight games like four in this deck. Almost every starting hand is gonna be decent. How do we play around Sumo next turn? We don't. Keep it on the ground, just make Scorch better. We could Scorch this. Kind of the way to play around Sumo. And then at least these two will trade. It's still a two for one, because Scorch plus this. Horrible pickup. Sumo. Okay, um, I think Scorch and, and Pass. <laughs> no, it's a rat! <laughs> what? <laughs> <coughs> Should've saved the Scorch. I might Shroom for two here. Who runs Arm Wrestler and Rat in the same deck? It reminds me of like back when I was ranked, I don't know, 20. Oh. <laughs> um... I'll shoot him for two if he commits with the zombie here. Buh. Oh yeah, it's a pet. If he camel crosses here, oh boy. If he camel crosses here. Don't! Don't! Don't do it! Damn. We're, we're not in good shape here at all. Oh, we're gonna block this thing. Ah. Really? Into Pine Clone? Fine. Really? <laughs> it's a 
pretty sad pine clone. This pine clone is gonna trade against stuff. Why this is not this stack has come on it. It's been on twin mill. Dandelion King too slow for solar for the ramp. Yeah. It's a little too slow. It's set up. How are we down to three? How are we dying to this pet deck? What is going on? If he rolls a one, I, he wins. We're not what I don't know what's happening here. I literally do not know what's going on. Trade well. And I can't do this. Though. He could roll a one and win here. If he doesn't, I'm back in the game, but still. I'm gonna die to the, the pet deck with Arm Rustler and King to ruin it. I guess aggro decks are good against win range. Please don't roll a one. Please. No! <laughs> Here. That's so stupid! What? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so stupid! <laughs> I just lost a freaking dolphin zombie. <laughs> All right, you guys can spam the scrub emote here. Here's the scrub emote. I'm spamming it at myself. I was making fun of him too. This is not what we need. This doesn't look like it helps at all. Can I have a good card? I thought the mulligans in this deck would be so much better. Chimper 2 is really not a good starting point. Dolphins OP. There's one. If he has an environment here, I will kill something. I should have fronted the rat with the pine thumb. I didn't know he would roll like quadruple ones. I wasn't like anticipating that. Aggro beats mid range, yeah. That was a classic aggro, horrible aggro deck versus a very good mid range deck. Now yeah, what? I want to get Shun for two Pine Clone next turn. That's a great Pine Clone. Yeah, he rolling stoned one. Hey Fry, is Dandelion King too slow for solo flare ramp? I answered that question already. Yes. It's not bad, but yeah, it's too slow. Yeah, this guy's <laughs> this is not going so well for this guy right now. We. Look, mommy, I have a million attack. This is when we need Sunstrike, right about now. Go ahead, go ahead. Look, not what does Knockout do right now? Knockout will take out one lane. He has he has six Pine Clones on the field. He can remove two with a Knockout, and that'll probably be his whole turn. Okay, that's that. Nice. Trying to teleport sports. No Where's Sunstrike? I need you, Sunstrike. That's not bad. At least it's a 
play. See, he can play coach right now. <laughs> So it would actually activate um, this coach. So it actually activate Cobb Cannon, theoretically. Let's see if it hits. Where's Molecow? Need something here. Where is Molotail? See, Sunstrike is good in this exact situation. Dude! Dude! Oh, Cobb Cannon would be amazing here. It's okay, but I still would have been way ahead. This chump champion is so slow. Damn! Champion is the best way of dealing with pine clones. Look at that. It's okay, we're still in great shape. We're still in great shape, actually. Despite that, we were able to just spoil. See, this is the reason why. Chum Champion was. That was like the best Chum Champion ever. The thing is, is that we still have five sun, eight sun, in which there's a ruin him with. So now, here comes the next one. Hope he has another Chum Champion. He's not gonna be able to deal with the pine clones this turn with it. We're gonna have eight pine clones, is basically how this goes. He's gonna need to have a guy. No! Damn it. Damn. <sighs> Teleport jump jump. Yeah. probably has that nine of this Rose Bowl there. Please, something. Where is Sunstrike? I need Sunstrike to win! Dude! Not helpful. I know I only have two. Uh, he needs another one. I don't even need, need like. No. I don't like the coach survive. It's not the end of the world. This will take two and two. Wait. <laughs> Still not that bad, because these two still die. This is 5-2 now. He's doing a lot of damage, so he gotta go with the viral. I need to Why is this not working? But Fry, why do you only run two guys with Sunstrike? Because it's not always good. This was not a good pickup. Come on. I can't even more sports. I don't have enough lanes. I'm so dead here. I 
think another going viral really does much here. <laughs> Team's rigged. More spores used to have team up. You know, this this actually used to make two team up on sure. Way, way back in the day. This is a good deck. We're, there you go. Come on, give me something good. Uh, uh, we drew a card from this. We drew Mal Kale. We get Brainana. <laughs> oh yes, that is how it's done. Oh look, we're healing too, Bobby. <laughs> Wait, where does this go? Unless oh, we go here. Go. <laughs> Highlight Central! Are we gonna win here? We're we gonna get nine? No. Uh, we're not quite winning, but this this gravity is gonna absorb anything he plays in the future. This does not even strike through. We got the full block meter because of the bodyguard. One more Malakale. Oh! <laughs> this is so harsh! This is so harsh! Go get him! Now we're getting sevens! Okay, ooh, cop. Oh, double soul patch is pretty good. All right, got some weenie beanies to boot. Uh, okay. <laughs> I say get that weak stuff out of here. <laughs> drunk, drunk with power. <laughs> Two soul patches, not bad. Not, not bad. That bean counter was a little weak. I'm gonna complain. I, I don't really like the bean counter there. That, that wasn't a very good molecule. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There, there goes our karma. Karma's back, you guys. Karma San Diego is back. <laughs> Pop Godzilla. <laughs> Happy the war. We had like freaking team. We had like. <laughs> we had a teamed up. We had. We had a, a team up. It was it was Soul Patch and Grapes of Wrath teamed up. When have you ever seen that, you guys? All right, let's highlight this here. Write that down. This is game three. <coughs> here we go. Here we go. Now, now, so now, so it begins. That's all I have to say. Ooh, it's a lot of options. I'm gonna keep this in. No greed. We got two options for ramping. It'd be nice to start off with our Solar Flare power, actually. Any reason to spam this on turn one right now? Just to mess with it? They have a clear, good way of getting rid of this. Just rat zombie. It does theoretically, if we tap deck Pine Clone, this is actually a good play because we're gonna do some kind of ramp right now. So we'll see if we tap deck a Pine Clone. We have two two draws to get a Pine Clone. Uh, yeah, or even a Molecule. Okay. Back up then. So environments take out this. There's a million things that take out this. Maybe we should have. Look. I'm gonna go with this. His, his plumbers are useful. I'm gonna go with this one. If he has an environment. We don't have the environment to cover it. I'd rather cover his environment. I'm, I'm gonna do this. There's no reason not to place on the ground, right? Nope, doesn't have weed spray. I don't want to put this here because his environment then would kill this. Guy. I didn't have an answer. All right. We are in the money. It's, it really depends what we draw here. If we get a pine clone, I'll go with that. This is um fine. Close. 
See, I, I'd actually like to protect this now. Uh, interesting that this is the play. This do go in front, I believe. Uh, so this will protect the, um, protect this one. Jump block, it's rid of all of his dancers, which he's clearly trying to set up some flamenco or something. And now we actually have cop cannon in this next one. Uh, would not mind getting Molecule. We can also go with these two. We can, we're probably just gonna do dry cap cannon now. It doesn't really matter. Just cap cannon here. Just cap cannon. It, it puts on a lot of pressure, it keeps the heat off of our Briar Rose. This goes in front or behind. Definitely doesn't go on tap. Do we want the, the twin sunflower to protect the 6-6, six, six, or do we want a 6-6 six, six to protect the twin sunflower? He doesn't have any deadly. If he had deadly, I would definitely go like this. He does have damage. He does have evaporate. I think this is the point. The twin sunflower is not that useful. It's just a body on the board to turn into a into a pine clone or a molecule. At this point, we don't really need the extra sun in this one. Six is the is the top of the curve. Of this one. Like we're not gonna spend. I guess we can maybe spend the seven sun. Dun 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 dun. Zero people care. Taking a survey, we have realized that zero people care. This is better for... This doesn't matter at all, actually. Oops. Um, I think the shroom for two is better here. The thing is, where does this go now? Here it goes. How many games I'll play today? I don't know. Probably ten. This is a ramp deck, which usually are slow, but this is a fast ramp deck. The extra sun is not necessary, exactly. Oh, yes. That's okay. Turns out our sun, our solar wind location is great. We just need any, anything. Vine clone is fine, molecule is fine. All kills great. Radish is pretty bad. <laughs> this sucks so one three. Ew. We do not have a play. It seems interesting why in this deck there's just so many times we just don't have a good play. There's no good play here. There's no good play. I'm not sticking one three on the field. Charging is blocking. <sighs> Yeah, it looks like the Sunflower is a 3-1 when he drops the stats on the like I still don't have a play. This isn't worth it. Uh, this is worth it now. <coughs> now, this, these, this is gonna do 4 and 6. This is actually lethal if you can't remove something here. There we go. All right, sunflowers, you're gonna get some strike through properties. Give me a three cost trick here. Ah, so close. <laughs> what do we get next turn? Playing this for more. Ah, oh, that's lethal. No damage to us actually. Block damage. Okay, you're dead. We lost to a pet pet, okay? I'm still ashamed. Someone's saying too much ramp, not enough plays. There is something wrong here. There's some reason why this is not working. 
Maybe Sunflower instead of Shroom for two. So you can automatically ramp to three on turn one. Something's wrong here. Do the daily after. I don't feel like doing the daily. Now I'm in thinking mode. This has the, theory, the potential of being a top tier deck. This ain't working out. I think keeping one of these big guys is actually really good. Do I want to keep a second ramp? I think I do actually because of the cop can. <coughs> Ramp cards is too much in a deck that doesn't need that much ramp. See, we're ramping an awful lot. I have that 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 happening just so we'll kind of guarantee get the ramp. They don't really need it. This is a tough play, actually. Cannon on turn that was turn three, right? Turn three, Cobb Cannon. Stop complaining. I'm 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 actually getting talking a little bit less and thinking a little bit more because I want this deck to be amazing. I want this deck to be amazing. Rose doesn't work with Raptors. This deck has everything it needs. Clog the lanes. I think we do. This is just an engine. I don't think teamed up sunflowers is a very good thing. This Turquoise skull zombie. This is turn four. <laughs> Whose board is better, you guys? <laughs> The stack is good. I, I just feel like this. It can. It, it's. It's missing perfection. There's something wrong here. I'm missing something here. You guys are saying too much ramp. I'm sort of buying into it. If you think that a lighter amount of ramp and then stronger plays would be better, like maybe just get rid of Twin Sunflower and put in Fireweed. Just to have a solid turn two play. We kind of want to ramp on turn two, though. The whole thing we want to do on turn two is ramp. It was not enough ramp. See, like right now, we have no play. This is when Sunstrike would have been amazing. Is Sunflower Seed the problem? What is Sunflower Seed doing this day? Sunflower Seed, again, if you have Pine Clump. Okay, I'll tell you what's going on. We, we built this deck at Molecules really good. We built this deck with Pine Clone being the focal point. And you're sometimes not going to get Pine Clone. Now, you can sometimes not get Pine Clone and not get Molecule and not get Briar Rose, like in this game. That's really weird. Uh, there's no way to, to make this better, right? There's a couple fours, a four, a three. Snapdragon, oh, another molecule, that's nice. And, uh, that's nice. <laughs> I love it when molecule makes another molecule. We have Bird of Paradise up in here. So now we're winning every match except for lane one, which is probably gonna end up being Block City. And to kill this thing, City. 
does draw a card. No, it doesn't a lot. The boss isn't that good because you don't have anything, any way to really even grow it. Uh, this actually, wait, give me Captain Combustible Super! Come on! Come on, come on. <laughs> With the repeat boss, would have been the. <laughs> would have been so good. <coughs> uh, pretty easy play. Do we want Bri Rose to die? Nah. This isn't gonna kill this unless it's a toxic waste. Not even close. Captain Combustible Super would have been ridiculous there. Oh, this actually draws a card. Oh no, it doesn't damage it? Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't think this, this root wall was the right play. It wasn't the right play. Now I don't even have a play. Is something good. Draw cards. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're right, I protected this, so this didn't die, and then he drew a card. Hope that doesn't, like, ruin me. Sunstrike! There's another game with Sunstrike. Looks like we're gonna revise this one. Harsh! Galvanize is not gonna get it done, dude. Nah, I got Galvanize. Alright, 4 and 1. Alright, guys. I think I figured out what the thing is in this deck. <clears throat> There's actually three ways to go in this deck, and you need to get a starting hand that is consistent. It doesn't matter which one you get. It's good not to be greedy. It doesn't matter which one you get. The, the deck sort of does even out in the end. I'll tell you what the three ways are. The first way is your typical ramp solar strategy, forgetting about all the Kablumi cards in this deck. It's, you want two ramp cards, a Briar Rose, and a Cobb Cannon in your starting hand. This also counts as a ramp card. We're only running the three Cobb Cannons, which makes that actually difficult. The second way is you want a ramp card, a three drop, and a Molecale. The third way is you want two ramp cards and a Pine Clone. Those are the three good starting hands. Once you have Pine Clone, then Sunstrike. Sunstrike works actually with all three strategies. You do only need two ramp cards, though. For the ramp, I think this is a little greedy. This is the third way of this deck. Two ram cards, boom, boom. So this works in one scenario. You need a, a, a so what do you need for this? You need a ramp, you need a three and, a, and, a, and, and this. So let's say this will work <clears throat> for these two strategies. I don't know if you guys are following me. I'll try to explain this in a little more depth later. Now, I'm just trying to figure out e each card, what does it work for? Primal Sunflower is the one card that works for every strategy. Every single one works with Primal Sunflower. 
which would make regular sunflower I think better. This works only if you have Shroom for Two Pine Clone. It does work with the Briar Rose strategy. It does not really work with the Molokel strategy unless you have exactly a one drop, which it's not, this isn't a good, even a very good Molokel. I can add an extra Sunstrike. Now Sunstrike works with all three strategies, so I'm gonna add an extra Sunstrike. These good guys are gonna go. I'm gonna add a third Sunstrike here. Now Sunstrike can mess you up if you don't have the other, the other cards. Uh, this works. Uh, I want to keep these in. Um, it's going to be regular sunflower, I believe, is the is better than twin sunflower here. Uh, I think we're getting two of them now. Regular sunflower has a lot of weaknesses. It's it's a difficult card to run in turn one because anything the zombies will do will get rid of it. a lot of team up. One, two, three, four, five different types of team up. It's definitely enough. The thing is right now we have 13 early game cards. I I'd love a 14th. <coughs> See the thing is now this can go into this strategy. This can go into this, this strategy. This enables both of either of these to be your second ramp card. All right, I think I got it. I don't know, the, the, the sun strike seems like a lot though. We, we did have a lot of games where we just wanted more sun strike. It does work with all three strategies, so let's keep it. Well, goat can't kill sunflower on turn one because the zombies play first. They'd have to teleport goat, which, you know. Sunflower is 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 an activator for all three of the strategies. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain a little bit. I know the chat is going a little crazy. I'm gonna have to explain to you um, this three-dimensional deck that we're running here. I'll explain it right now. Look, there's three different starting hands you want. Starting hand number one is your typical ramp starting deck. If you've seen any of my ramp decks, you know we're looking for two ramp cards. Uh, so it's any two of any of these guys. Um, a Briar Rose and a and, and, and hopefully a Cobb Cannon. Just two and a Briar Rose is good enough to at least get you started. Two of them Briar Rose and Molokel work. Two of them Briar Rose and Pine Clone work. Two of them Briar Rose and you need Briar Rose plus a bigger card. That's the first way. The second way is how you ramp to Pine Clone. Ramping a Pine Clone is two ramp cards um, and, and a Pine Clone in your hands. And if you have a Shroom for two, it makes it better. Um... We actually have too many Shroom for Twos in this deck. There you go. Because Shroom for Two is not very playable early on. Three Shroom for Twos is the right amount. There you go. See, just talking this out kind of made me realize it. The third way is the is the ramp molecule strategy, which you need exact. We need one of these guys, and this is really important in this. You need a three drop and a molecule. If you have that, you have a very decent turn three play, and you're going to outtempo your opponent. So, in all three of those strategies. It's the one cost ramp cards that really get you going. They're a body on the board turned to a, a, a pine clone, they're a, little, a slight body for Molokale, they're a ramp to Briar Rose. It's the one cost cards are the most important. This is actually, we had too many Shroom for Twos and we ended up mulliganing these out of our starting hand a lot. This does count as an early game card. This really doesn't help in, the only strategy this helps is only in the pine clone strategy. It's okay in the Molokale and it's useless in the Briar Rose strategy. This is the three, the three, the three, three prongs of the deck right here. All right, let's get, uh, I'm gonna take a screenshot. I'll explain to you guys a little bit more. Try to listen though, you guys. Listen, listen, let me explain, okay? I know you guys go and think Sunflower is just, Sunflower is a weak card, and that's why we're only running two in the deck, but it's it's strong and weak. You just have to know your opponents really well in order to, in order to play Sunflower effectively. Um, uh, where is the deck list? I took a screenshot, I'll, I'll, I'll explain a little bit more. <clears throat> The Sunflower, I'll, I'll just focus on Sunflower alone. And Primal Sunflower does all these things too. Primal Sunflower is a lot better than Sunflower because it, it'll, it'll at least trade with a lot of stuff. It has some stats. Um, Sunflower does three things uh, in, in this deck. First of all, it'll enable you to get a three drop 
uh, on turn two, which is really good for the mind clone for the for the for the molecule strategy. Um, we have a bunch of we have eight to three drops. This is going to be the solar flare. Let's cover up this deck list. Red molecule. Did my deck list disappear? As it usually does. Oh yeah. Could you reappear, please? All right, here we go. No, well, I'll get into the game. I'll keep explaining. The it also works for the Briar Rose Cob Cannon strategy uh, because it'll help you. You need two ramp cards basically in order to get Briar Rose on turn three, uh, and in order to also activate your Cob Cannon whenever you play, which sometimes four, sometimes five. <clears throat> yeah, no Berry Blast. It would be nice, it's just nothing, we have to, we'd have to take out something. I would have to take out the three Shim for Twos net and Berry Blast, which I don't think is worth it. Um, the Shim for Twos really aren't that good, they're only good with the Pine Clone strategy. It's also, the Tom Flower's really good at getting in your Pine Clones early. If you can get a turn three Pine Clone, you're gonna kill everyone. The Sun Strikes are, are good. Alright, let's go. Let's see how this one does. You never want two of these. We have to decide which way are we gonna go. So now, this would work if we got a Mol- see this? This works with Molecule, but we have Briar Rose right now, and Briar Rose needs this. I think we're gonna look for a second source of ramp. We could go 1-3. I'm gonna look for a second source of ramp. Did not get it. Does this work? It does, and these are fine. Do I get rid of Cop? I'm gonna keep Cop Cannon. And we could get a second source of ramp, and then that happened. You gotta watch out. Um, Yeah, you don't need all the two drops because we're ramping with the one drops. You gotta watch out when playing Sunflower against summoning and backup dancers. I think Mortician's uh, super. Those are the three main cards that punish Sunflower because it'll give your opponent something on the board and you end up with nothing. We did get our second stretch of ramp. Super happy about that. Uh, so now one of these will probably die, the other one will probably survive, and then uh, this will happen on turn four. If he has double plumber, then great. Right, perfect dancer. See, now we're able to get this. Uh, Briar Rose is both on three and on four. Having the double Briar Rose is not the end of the world here. Molecule's obviously bad. Molecule will, can sometimes complement the Briar Rose strategy. Though. He's trying to control a ramp deck, which is a very difficult thing to do, because you're using fewer brains to control more sun. Especially if you're relying on teleporting things in. What do you got? Uh, uh, a barrel of dead beards? Oh, it's so slow. That is so slow. So we either have a choice of Briar Rose or Molecale here. Molecale will be a 3-2 and a random 5 drop, or we can have two Briar Roses. Briar Roses cost 5, so uh, we'll go with these guys. Narrator mode, exactly. I'm trying to explain, because I see the chat, a lot of people in the chat not understanding why I would add a, such a primitive card as Sunflower. If you're just going to add Sunflower to a deck, it's not good. It has to have a very, very exact, uh, you know, very exact reasons for running in the deck. Molecale's actually, ugh. This is still fine. It's sad to pass here. What is he going to do with this? Can't do three damage. I think it's just this. Set up the cop cannons. So we'll get the molecules on the cop cannons, which is kind of cool. It's fine. So we have the sunflower ramp. Again, we went the ramp way. I mean, we got the molecule later. This was the normal full, full throttle ramp. Uh, that's cute. Damn. He blocked and got this. He's down to seven already. It's just a tempo play. He's gonna need to rocket this now. Have I found a good use for Marine Bean? I, amphibious decks are pretty weak, I need to do that. The tree deck, let me. You are still getting him down to one here. <coughs> uh, we do have a farm. We used to. It's. 
probably has a way of removing this now. I'll kill both these later. Get that weak stuff out of here! Get out of my house! You greet me, what's going on, Tommy Verset? That, that was a play. He needs Rocket Rocket right now to survive. It's not gonna happen. This deck has become much more precise. I'm getting into evil genius mode now. Ha 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 ha. You will not be able to take on my three-pronged deck. Ramp to Molokil. Ramp to a three-drop to Molokil. Ramp to two sources of ramp into Briar Rose into Cobb Cannon, which we know is a tried and true strategy that works really well. And the third way is ramp into into Pine Clone. Ramp Molokil is almost, and you know Pine Clone. You can Molokil on the Pine Clone. You can Sunstrike on any of them. You can Molokale. Molokale works on top of the other two strategies. That's really what justifies, even though it's it, independently the worst strategy. But it does. You can Molokale either of the other two strategies and, and, and make them a lot better. Particularly the right ones. Anyway. Alright, this is the deck gig, guys. It's the mindset, too. It's not just the little, the little changes I made. But not as significant as just knowing how to how to, how to mulligan. This deck is actually very difficult to mulligan now. Yes, I can handle three prongs. <laughs> Fry games sounds a little high. Alright, so what do we have now? We have a 3 and a 4. This is only going to work if we get exactly a Briar Rose. We're getting rid of this one. I have to get rid of one of these. Looking for a ramp card. Ugh, didn't get any early game. Now, if we get super, it'll be fine. This is kind of sad. Depends on, oh yes, so now we have one, two, three. Be an aggro deck, please. I'm actually gonna do this to face. I, I usually say don't do not do this to face, but I'm doing it to face this time. Usually waste a card. I don't have any other play this turn, and I need to get this out on two and this on three. It's imperative for our, um, for our tempo. So this is the exception in a ramp deck that ramping, making a turn one ramp play is so important it's gonna ink it's gonna just it's gonna be so good that's okay all right so we're looking at a valk deck usually ultimately brainstorm running regifter uh we're just gonna go close we do have pine clone into molecule so now we have four this next turn we could go straight molecule we could go with these wings and then try to Molecule all of them. <coughs> you can also go with Briar Rose. What did he get this from? You read it? Back one. I think this puts on a lot of pressure. We can have a couple of options next turn. Um, either Sunstrike. Sunstrike does work. We're actually gonna get extra brains now, too. So this was four. We're gonna have six next turn. Um, Sunstrike makes all these Raptors do a lot of damage. What is this guy planning on doing? Why is he plumbering that one? You know, these guys are getting a little weak. Maybe we should just Molokale everything right now. What's in the box? There's Cobb Cat. <laughs> What's going on, NHP guy? Yeah, though. 
covering that. Well, let's see here. If we do this, it's six damage to face, and this dies. Otherwise, this will just be a 2-1, so it's the same thing. Huh? Just better. He had a little field clear play. Uh, we're, we're doing just fine though. This doesn't this doesn't matter. We're still way ahead. We're still way ahead. We got through his block there. Summoning. Barrel. Ugh. We have model kill options. He's going it's still like this is still a valve deck. Turn into them. He's not gonna answer this, I don't think. He could answer this by well final mission takes this out. Kind of. pretty well next turn. Wait, what's going on, chat? You guys okay? Okay, block. Save this card. Damn it! Okay, stream for two is not bad next turn. Six now. Yes, another second sun strike would be nice here. We're making eight. Almost going to nine. This is definitely a bell deck. I'm not counting these bells though. All the bowling is pretty disgusting. Bowling's gonna win us this game. Usually. Final mission is the one thing that could just ruin us right now. I don't think Pine Club Molecule is the play. <laughs> he does have mustache. Mustache Valve now, though. Damn. He does have mustache Valve. He wasn't playing around in environment. He does not mustache Valve right now. Actually, we don't have all the bowling anymore. Okay. <laughs> Could go pine club molecule here, it's not bad. Hopefully there'll be an astrocado in here somewhere. 
Wow, this guy could have had cards that would have just ruined this. Double potted powerhouse. Are you kidding me? That is the worst one. Dude! Get him in the face, Blueberry. Go get him in the face. Don't be a deadly card. Oh no! Oh no! Get him in the face, face. Get him in the face. Come on! Face! Dang! Come on, man! That sucked so much! Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Why is he running all these backup dancers anyway? <coughs> Hold up bowling is not a thing here. Bonus tag is not a thing. Hmm. I'd love if I could team up here somehow. Oh. Made it a little easier for us. Swivelboat <laughs> guys. Ugh. I'm taking these games so seriously because I think this, is, this is, has the potential of being one of the best decks in the game, period. If I Bluesberry, then uh, he's gonna teleport something in. Walnut Bowling was not the right play there. <coughs> Radish Cobb. Oh, not a bad idea. Radish Cobb. What would that have done? It would have gotten rid of the mustache monument. Maybe. Maybe. Ugh. I think Radish Cobb was the play. Oh, was there a Radish in one? Oh, I should have Cobbed on the red. <laughs> Got him. Okay, which way are we going? Definitely never need two Pine Clones. So we have... Ramp to Molokal. I guess this is never good now. Ooh, okay, Ramp, Pine Clone, Molokal. I'm just shorten it. We can also go this way. Does this help us at all? I guess it does. Here's another opportunity. We could go again, one, two, three, and forget about the pine clone. Anyway, this always happens, so. Cold League, easy game. I don't know. The last guy we lost to was a ranked one. The only game we lost today. Uh, we have a couple options here. I think I'm gonna do the early, the early Molokel. This is a t turn two play here. I could get greedy and go for Pine Clone. I mean, I could always Pine Clone these next turn also. And then Molokel. Hmm. I, think I'll do I could always Pine Clone these. Price, Twitch, your full-time job. Twitch and YouTube, yes. My full-time job. I stream for four hours a day. I work besides for those four hours. I'm editing and getting good. I'm trying to get good at Gwent, which is going to be the next game of the channel. Um, it, this, this is not even that greedy. This is actually pretty conservative. <laughs> We're going to molecule this guy to the Ice Age. Rats. So we'll have two, two, two pine clowns, which is fine. <coughs> This is turn three. This is turn three. You got three, three, threes in the field. Ridiculous. Okay, Weedle, could you could you leave people alone, please?
Weedle, chill out, dude. How did he kill this one? He got super? He blocked and got... Wait, what just happened? Oh, he had super in hand. Damn. The ham! So we can either get one five five, or we can, or we can do this play. We can get a better molecule. So we'll revert to plan A. Did you hear the upcoming trading card game by Valve called Artifact? Yeah, it's gonna be a big deal. I'm concentrating on Gwent right now, but that. Again, uh, maybe the game after Gwent? Uh, I'm really gonna just be doing Thieves of Heroes and, and Gwent, I think. Alright, this is fine. Ooh, we got Molecule and some Molecule. Why are Walnuts so derpy? <laughs> I guess this costs four. This is really four. Hmm. This will usually have two attack. It'll be a two drop. The trade is real. I could stick this behind like this. We'll have four health. Maybe I'll do it like this, and I'll put the molecule behind here. Oh, this looks good. Three and four, and we'll just eat this buckethead. It's hard to make a good trade against this buckethead. So yeah. Pair of pairs, Sonic Blue! <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, so the, oh, that's a nice two also. And this is actually a 4 and a 2 for the next Molecal that set up. So it's gonna be Molecal uh, Sunstrike. We will get a Sunflower, and this is just gonna be the full package. No! Ah, oh, that killed the Sonic Bloom, though. There's a 4 drop. And a dump to 2 4 is going down the garbage to a 2. Come on, man. It just makes this play a lot worse. It's still great, though. We still have 2 4s in the field, a 2 and a 1. So these two are turning into fives, a three, yeah. The molecule sounds great. Obvious play. Heal in his face. Oh, you guys. Oh, he should have gone face with that. Why are you healing your bucket head, dude? Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's in the box. So we get <laughs> this does like a thousand bonus attacks. Go get him! Because the two on the right appeared after the 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 P fighter. A two three is average. This is interesting. This actually doesn't affect anything because this happens and then the Melon Bolt anyway has three. Uh, we'll go with the Sun Strike. It doesn't really matter here, but it is just a card, which is cool. And keep going. I'll do the daily in a bit. <laughs> Look at this hand. Uh, it's lethal. There's no way you can prevent this. He heals. He's gonna have to block this one anyway. Got him. Ah. This has turned from a fun deck to an evil genius deck. This is great. This is amazing. In Mushroom Grotto used to be like the go-to Pine Club Molecule environment, but I'd say Solar Winds is just as good. It makes earlier Pine Clones. It's ridiculous. Play Pine Clone is good on four. He played on three. Ridiculous. Solar Wings are the best cards in the game. Okay, so you never need two Briar Roses. We do have two sources of ramp, a Briar Rose and a Rumble for a Cobb Cannon. Now we have actually two different strats going on. Do we even keep the Briar Rose here? It is pretty good against the Smash. The Briar Rose is a fine card, even if we did ramp Pine Clone into Briar Rose, which is probably actually the way we're gonna do it. You don't wanna play Briar Rose first. And, um, and Pine Clone after, because it low, it downgrades this. You can ramp to Pine Clone, get rid of all your flowers, and then just play Briar Rose as a card. Briar Rose, even by itself, found any flower, any other flowers in the field is fine. And we'll get some flowers later. <laughs> Easy play. See, Dog is one of the cards that prevents Sunflower from being played on. One of the many cards that some are with. There's not as many fire roosters in the meta as this. Fire used to be a very common card, which was one reason why Sunflower became unplayable. Auto uninclude. 
Uh, we'll probably front something with this 3-1. It'll take out a card, give us an extra sun. We'll have five next turn, in which case we'll be able to sunflower pine clone. We gotta use these pine clones ASAP. Feeling many guys in the field, this doesn't help. This deck is top tier, yeah, definitely. This is a good contender for best deck in the game, depending on the meta. And they're both solar flare decks, who would've known. Okay, um... Dude? I'm not, I'm not even judging, I'm not even saying anything. Just come back in five minutes, okay? I don't want to team up here. <clears throat> I don't want to team up. It just makes Knockout better. <laughs> Turn three, you have three, three three drops, basically. Pine Clone is worth a three drops. The three three is a fine three drop. Three three drops on turn three. It's like turn one a three drop, turn two a three drop, turn three a three drop. That's how much tempo this is. Okay, really, no more weird questions. Just chill, cause you're you're bugging people. Okay, just just chill. Everything's gonna be good. Why did you go in that lane now? Go in one of these lanes. The Brian Rose is so good at clogging this now. Sunstrike. Yep. We're going face. It's just five minutes, just to chill out the chat. It's not a punishment. It's not a punishment timeout. Just five minutes. Everyone relax. Call for your nerves. People are getting annoyed by him. Chill. People are him. Uh, Sunstrike does nothing here. Briar Rose, Briar Rose. There's no way of him, like, you know, super with. He's not even fronting these guys. Got, got, got super good. Shamrock, it's a good removal card. It's better in super late game decks, which are not actually that good in today's meta, but late game will, 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 will come out. They, they seem to, anytime there's a good mid range deck, they seem to nerf it, so. Uh, I, I would love to see the, the proper control late game deck. So, Shamrock, it is a good card. It's it's nice, kind of, to include two in just any Guardian deck just to get rid of those big guys. Such an efficient way of getting rid of big guys. How is it not a punishment? I I'll explain. Oh, man. Sunstrike is in play. Oh, give me something good, good, good. There's Sunstrike. <laughs> this will be good next turn. Uh, we should win here, though. Heal. Heal doesn't. Uh, heal does save. He'll have two health. But if he doesn't get hit, heal, it's, it's over. He already got super. Well, super wouldn't save him anyway. Game! This deck is unstoppable. Yeah. Anyway, let's just forget about what happened, okay? I'll, I'll explain. Ask me tomorrow why, why, what, what it shows. Let's just try to forget it. Let's just, let's just play some Peepsy Heroes, you guys. Alright, last game here. A very friendly, fr very friendly timeout to to Johnny. All right, so hmm, this does work for this. This does not work for this. I mean, it's okay. We need a, a, a early source of ramp. I'm gonna get rid of Sunstrike. Uh, this works better. Ooh, that became a good hand. <laughs> that became a hand, a really good hand, really quick. Just with getting again a sunflower would have been just as good. This is fine. Yeah. It's fine. Capitalize. How's Rick and Morty? Did Rick did when's the next season coming out? Rick and, Morty, Rick, and Morty. Rick and Morty's great. If you guys want to watch, it's like it's the Simpsons for smart people. It's really, really creative. Really, really good. Easy play. So either Molecule or Pine Clone next turn. I, well Pine Clone's not bad. Pine Clone's really not bad here. Good art. Let's go, Pine Clown. Raw for me? That's raw. That one? 
Oh no, we don't have it. Damn, we killed my sunflower. Trash garbage. All right, so it's this boy. I'm serious, that's my. That's a very accurate description. What do we weed whack here? Probably should weed whack something because we're playing the tempo game. A landscaper. This one grows. I have a feeling he's gonna have a professional on that gravestone anyway. Let's weed whack this one. I'm a sumo. Okay. And he made the good trade for us? Are you kidding me, man? Okay, pine clone time. What's this guy doing? Why would he make the good trade for us? He has he doesn't have a way of, of spraying one damage, right? I'm very confused. Oh, we got a one drop there too. Uh, that becomes a three, four, five. Oh, this is a team up now. Evil genius. Three, four, five. I guess we don't go face here at all. Actually, wait, so now we should be pine cloning in that lane. Oh, that's interesting, because then the arm also becomes less thick. <laughs> I just want to guarantee that we'll have a lane to play the Molecule in next turn. That's why I'm doing the uh, overkill team up here. Look, mommy, I have more pine clones. <laughs> okay. Where did he get this card? Oh, this is a professional he got from the from the guy. Um. Okay, so now a one would be nice. Oh, we got a one. <laughs> I don't know if I, well, this is a little bit thick, this arm wrestler, for my liking. We need to use these pine clones eventually. I think this is the play. With six damage to his face. That's weak. Sumo. What is this? Neko JJ? Is, are you, what, coming back to the game after a year? It's not, a, it's a rodeo gark. Yeah, it does the same thing and moves something over. You could have gotten fireworks from middle manager. Oh, you're right. Okay, good point, crazy. Good point, crazy. Playing the option. <laughs> Damn! These chub champions are killing us here! Piece of garbage. Damn, Chum Champion's good against this deck. He's, that's the real answer to Pine Club. Holy moly. Ugh. It used to be like chickening barrel dead berries used to be the answer. Chum Champion destroys Pine Clones. This is a really good answer to Pine Clones here. We do have Molecale, Molecale. Mommy, I'm a cardboard zombie. Or we can pine clone Molecale into Molecale next turn. Let's go, please. I love an Astrocado out here. Come on. That works. Uh, the Bird of Paradise was good. Everything else is pretty trash. Yeah. Eh. Ugh. Free drop. There's a 2 2. Ew! Bad luck for him. The Bird of Paradise is nice. That doesn't live, though. He's not okay. Unless he gets. Yeah, okay, good. Wow, he didn't get a tempo play. He just got a heal. <coughs> so the molecule here is gonna be really good. Power 
powers, they give us a guy besides the force book. So now there's Spinao's super cool here. It would make this this a lot better. Come on, Spinao. Oh, Sunstrike! And extra brains. Are you ready to rumble? That's what I'm talking about. This always happens. Give me something good, good. Brain Nanner! That's nice. <laughs> this is a pretty good sun strike. If you ask me, if you think about it. Doom Shroom. <laughs> That'll be good next turn. So this is gonna do um, four, six, seven. Yeah, this actually kills this, uh, kills this guy now. Look at the, the three the three attack. We got the, the strike through freaking tricorn. Molecule is a thing here. This this is gonna be lethal. He's not gonna survive this. This is yeah. He did. Got him. All right, great place to end it there. This was you know pine claw, molecule, and sunstrike all coming together for the win. Great place to end it. Holy moly with that. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was the Rant Molecule. We did lose that one game, and again, the first few games that we played, the deck list needed a little tweaking, but the Sunflowers were, were a great addition. Too many Shroom for Twos we had before, and, um, and just getting sort of a, after playing a few games, I feel like we really figured out how to play this deck. The fact that there's three different strategies, and you gotta set one up in your starting hand. Before, we were just playing the deck kind of willy-nilly, figuring it out, but I, I think this is... After Aggro Solar Flare and Mustache Valve, I I actually would say this is the third best deck in the game. It doesn't have as many weaknesses as Nightcap Swarm. It's super powerful. It's super reliable if you know how to play. It's a very difficult deck to play, actually. Much harder than I thought. It's not like automatic, it's just every starting hand is good. You've got to really know your three strategies. You actually have to know three strategies really well. One you can learn by any of the Fuller Throttle ramp decks. Um, one you can you can learn from playing Captain uh, Captain Conjure and Captain Combustible. That actually will teach you a little bit how to play, let's say, um, Molecule on top of Raptors and stuff like that. Just understanding th that, and then just any any ramp Pine Club deck. You know, getting out of play Pine Club. So. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy. Peace.